Hi, this is Abdullah Galal, and today I'm going to give a quick example on how to use first in, first out inventory valuation method on SAP ERP. So the system I am using is SAP S4HANA 1809, and I'm going to give the same example as the one I presented in the last video. So I'm going to start by creating a purchase order. So ME21N, I have already explained everything on how to create a purchase order and how to do a goods receipt. So if you have any questions, you should check the other videos that I have on my channel. So here I'm going to insert the vendor number, enter, purchase organization, group, company code, and then the material code is going to be 21. So this is the item I'm going to be uh, buying, and this is the one that I will apply first in, first out inventory evaluation on. So I'm going to have two lines in my purchase order, and both of them are going to be five pieces. The plant is 1710. Now to give you the example that I explained before, one of the items is going to have, or one of the lines is going to have a price of 10 USD, and the other one will have the price of 20 USD. So this way we can see the impact of first in, first out. Now I'm going to save this purchase order. And double click here. Copy the PO number, control C. And I'm going to post a goods receipt. So the goods receipt can be posted from transaction MIGO. Here I'm going to post a goods receipt for a purchase order and control V, so this is our PO number. So I'm going to post two goods receipts. First, I'm going to post a goods receipt for the first line item, and then I'm going to post another one for the second one. So uh, now I'm going to only receive this one, and the storage location is 171C, enter, and then post. So this is our first goods receipt. This is the one that we have as first in. Now I'm going to post the second line, enter, and OK, and the storage location is 171C. So now you see we have two goods receipts, one of them is for 10 USD and the other one is for 20 USD. Then I'm going to post a goods issue and we can see how the system will react. Then I'm going to hit enter again and post. Now I'm going to display the material master data so we can see what happened. So MM03 and the material is 21. Plant 1710. And I will go to the accounting one view and click on material price analysis. So as you see, this is our material, and for the month of uh, March 2019, beginning inventory was zero, and change to inventory is zero, everything is zero. This is the start. Then we did a goods receipt of five items, multiplied by 10 each, which is 50 USD. And so our moving average price is 10. Then we did another goods receipt for another five items, this time for 100, because five multiplied by 20 and the price of the moving average for the second operation is 20 but so the total moving average price now is 15 which is 100 which is 150 over 10 pieces yeah 150 over 10 is 15 usd so the moving average price we have is 15. so in my example i'm going to sell six units so we can see how sap will react so i'm going to go back to the other screen and I'm going to post a goods issue to a cost center. So this is exactly the same as if I sell from first in, first out point of view. It doesn't matter if I'm going to sell or if I'm going to issue it to a cost center or if I issue it to a production order, it is all the same. So I'm going, if in my example, just to make it easy, I'm going to post a goods issue of six units to a cost center. So six. Storage location is 171C. This is the cost center I'm using. 
and I'm going to post. Now, if I go back to the material analysis screen and refresh, as you see here, we have a goods issue for cost center of six pieces. This is six multiplied by 15 because this is our moving average. And as I explained before, goods issues have no impact on our moving average. So the moving average is 15 multiplied by six. So the value change is 90. Now, this is if I am using regular moving average. But in my case, I want to use first in, first out. So what I want SAP to do is to issue five units multiplied by 10, because this is our first N, and then one unit multiplied by 20, as I explained in the presentation. So how can we do this? It goes the same way. So until now, nothing is wrong, everything is okay. And then at the end of the month, there is a transaction that we run that will make SAP recalculate all the moving averages and does uh, inventory valuation adjustment. And this is what I'm going to show you now. So I'm going to go back to the home screen. So let's go to this one and exit. So under logistics, materials management, valuation, then we have balance sheet valuation and LIFO or FIFO valuation. So I'm going to go to FIFO and here we have prepare and then we have perform check. It is very, very simple. So the first step is to go to select materials. So here I'm telling SAP which materials I want to use first in, first out with. So I'm going to put my material and the company code is 1710 and plant is 1710. So you can choose one item or you can choose all the items you have. It is all up to you and how do you want to run your business. So I'm going to click on set and then you have to check on material master and FIFO index table if you do not check this one then you are not doing any updates you are just showing a report but in my example I want to update the database so I'm going to select this and execute now you see the material number 21 which is in pieces this is the material type this will have new LIFO and or FIFO indicator it is the same and then record exists material masters processed one and then we have one FIFO index entries updated. So now this is okay. Everything is okay because the same items processed is what we have updated. So we have no errors. So I'm going to go back to the second step. Back, back. And then we go to MRF3, create document extract. So here we are selecting the documents. We are asking SAP to select the documents that are applicable for first and first out. And this happens based on your configuration but you have to run the transaction so the database is updated. So um, this is the company code, valuation area is my plant, 1710, and the material code is 21. Then I leave this as is, and here you have to select update receipt data. Again, if you do not select this, then you are just showing a report. So I'm going to select on receipt data, and then you have to execute. So now you see for our item, the number 21, we have three transactions. So we have two goods receipts and we have one goods issue. This is for 50, 100, then 90, then the ending balance is 60 and the ending quantity is four. So everything is okay. Now I'm going to go back and go to the third transaction. So MRF1, perform a check. And this is the last step. So this one will actually update the inventory valuation. Now I'm going to select the company code, plant, material, and then you have to select FIFO price table, update, and the material pr master price, update. Then if you want SAP to actually post a financial entry and adjust your inventory values, you have to select change material prices. So here you can say, I want to direct update, I want to generate a batch input, or no update at all. If you select on no update, then SAP is not going to post a financial transaction and is not going to readjust your inventory values. It will just show you reports on first in, first out inventory value. But if I want SAP to post a financial entry, so I'm going to select on direct update. And this is the posting date of the financial entry, I can change it. And in the header text, you put anything for justification, like this is FIFO updates, update for March, for example. 
So usually we run this transaction at the end of the month before we generate our financial statements. And then in the reference, you can also say anything and then OK. Now you can execute. So before I do this, let me show you the material price analysis. If I refresh here, so this is the last thing we have, two goods receipt and one goods issue and the moving average price is 15. Now if I execute this transaction, and then go back, refresh again. Now we have two goods receipt, one goods issue, and we have a change in material price. So this is a financial entry that has been posted and our stock value has been adjusted. So the, um, this transaction has no impact on inventory value, on inventory quantity, because we didn't receive or issue any products, but it has a value change of 20 and so the total value after this transaction of our stock is 80 and the new moving average price is 20. So what happened? Now, as explained in first in first out, I want SAP to issue five units multiplied by 10 and one unit multiplied by 20. So 50 plus 20 is 70. Now, if, we, if you say 70 and SAP posted 90 before, then we have a 20 adjustment. So SAP adjusted the 20 and our moving average price now is 20 because all the items we have in stock are these coming from the second line, this one. And this has a moving average price of 20. So this is exactly what we need. If you don't understand the calculation, you should check the previous video where I explained the calculation process and how first in, first out works. But this is the correct result. So um, and this is it. So now you see how first in, first out uh, inventory valuation works on SAP ERP, and this should give you a complete understanding on the concept. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you again in the next video.